Febby Bilstein recommends that any diagnosis and maintenance is carried out by a fully trained vehicle technician. In this video, we are looking at a common suspension wear item that affects several popular Volkswagen AG vehicles. Worn steering and suspension components can cause issues, such as knocking or creaking noises over uneven road surfaces, as well as vague steering and handling and uneven tyre wear. With the vehicle raised, inspect the steering and suspension for signs of wear or play in any of the components. Here it is clearly visible that the console bush and lower track control arm bush are heavily worn and need to be replaced. First, remove the wheel. Inspect the wheel and tyre for any damage and check the tread for signs of uneven wear. Also inspect the wheel bolt threads for damage and replace as necessary. Loosen and remove the lower ball joint retaining nut. Remove the lower ball joint from the steering knuckle. This may require the use of a joint splitter if the joint is seized in place. Remove the track control arm retaining bolt. Then remove the track control arm by pulling it out and away from the console bush. The new Febby track control arm kit is fitted with a new ball joint and front bush and supplied with a new console bush and important fitting information. The use of a special service tool is recommended when replacing a console bush on this vehicle. Using the special service tool, remove the old console bush from its housing. Once the old bush has been extracted, clean the housing to remove any alloy corrosion as this will ease installation of the new bush. Here you can see the original console bush is excessively worn. When compared to the original bush, you can see the improved design of the Febby bush, which gives more support and strength than the original. Observe the correct orientation of the console bush as per the Febby info guide. Incorrect fitting will adversely affect the vehicle's handling and component service life. Then install the new console bush using the special service tool. Fit the rear of the new track control arm into the new console bush by hand and then insert the front bush into the carrier assembly. Fit the front retaining bolt but do not fully tighten until the vehicle suspension is under load. Then tighten to the manufacturer's torque settings. Insert the lower ball joint into the steering knuckle and tighten using the new nut supplied. Refit the wheel, checking steering and suspension operation before lowering. Once the vehicle is lowered, tighten the wheel bolts to the manufacturer's torque settings. After replacing any steering or suspension component, it is advisable to check the wheel alignment against the manufacturer's settings and adjust as necessary. Finally, road test the vehicle to check for correct operation of the suspension and steering.